Smith Detection is a world leading provider of uh, X-ray chemical detection, narcotics detection uh, and explosive detection equipment. Uh, we're installed across the world's airports, across the world's ports uh, and with security and policing and militaries around the world. Uh, Smith Detection has been providing equipment to the ports industry for many years now. We provide everything from large cargo scanners that will that will x-ray an entire container, all the way through to handheld trace equipment that will um, allow you to identify narcotics or explosives, uh, and also radiological handheld equipment that will allow you to identify radioactive materials and chemical and uh, toxic chemicals as well. Our equipment is used by many different agencies. I mean, it often depends on the country, but it's often police forces, customs agencies, all the way through to security and private security companies and private companies as well, uh, protecting you know, their own premises, also scanning their own goods coming in and out of their premises as well. Manual inspection of containers can take a considerable amount of time. Containers can be very large, they can be very varied in the goods they carry. Um, so an x-ray inspection can be very quickly, quickly done, take several minutes. Uh, it can give you an idea of the exact goods that are on or in the container. It can give you an idea of whether there's organic, non-organic compounds. Some of our computer algorithms can also search for cigarettes, they can search for narcotics, weapons, and even obviously people, which is a, you know, a reoccurring tra problem with uh, people trafficking and smuggling as well. So it's a lot quicker, it speeds up the process a lot quicker in the ports. I would say one of the biggest um, challenges the industry faces is really the um, how you get the operator to scan as many um, containers as they can. Often, often the limiting factor is the operator and the number of operators you have. So we're now working on ways of centralising data so that it allows you a central operator facility where you can scan either multiple facilities at once all into one operations room or just from a very large port into one operations room. So you can get the best out of your operators to get the highest throughput of containers. The best example is probably the work we've done with El Salvadorian Customs. Uh, they had the challenge that they wanted 24 hour a day, seven day a week coverage of all the um, containers going in and out of the country in their seaport, some land ports and the airport, the international airport. Uh, we provided them with a system that allows them to remotely monitor all of this traffic. Um, they have a considerable problem with corruption in the country, so they wanted a centralised hub whereby they could authorise or hold um, goods coming in and out. All of that network is secure and it's all managed and uh, scanned by our, uh, our equipment. It's been very successful of late. All shipping companies are obsessed with speed and quite rightly they want to get their goods and services through the ports as quickly as possible. Consequently we are creating solutions for them that will allow the faster scanning of containers. Also it will allow, as I said, if you centralise the scanning operations, you get higher throughput and higher utilisation of each operator. We also provide automatic threat recognition software. It will highlight any areas that the uh, computer basically highlights as a threat the operator is looking for. And these can be preset to look for things depending on what the customs are um, they see as a threat in that environment, be it cigarette smuggling, weapons, people, narcotics, explosives. Uh, and that has a considerable uh, improvement for efficiency in the port area. One of the key things is actually the storage of data. Um, a lot of times the customs officials are using our equipment to check what's in a container against the manifest for that um, container. They often want to store that for a long time to allow access to other, other periods, either for evidence if there is a prosecution later, or just to check general manifest data. Um, we are now have created a data management system that will allow uh, both localised and remote access to all of this data and allow it to be stored for a long period of time. And that uh, is a great benefit to the customs and the ports officials in, um, in generally speeding up throughput and efficiency as well. Each customer has different requirements and we can, we can adapt the system. I mean, one of, the, one of the key things about our systems, as opposed to a lot of our competitors, is we, we develop our scanning systems to allow them to be upgradable over time, to find different threats and to, you know, to allow the customer to upgrade them once they have them installed as well so that you know, they can always adapt to a changing environment. I think that has great advantages to the customers. It increases their efficiency. It also can allow them to reduce costs, which is very important to them. 
uh, and it can it allows them to back up data, as I said, and handle data remotely, which to a lot of them is extremely attractive, especially when they have multiple ports to deal with in relatively small countries.